What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. Homebrew is now on 11.3. You can go download it for old and new 3DS and get Homebrew set right back up and go play some Halo revamped by the way or emulators, whatever you wanna do on Homebrew, you can do now on 11.3, the latest firmware at this moment in time. Now, I anticipated that this would have happened within the first 24 hours of 11.3 being updated because that's just kind of how it's been, but Nintendo's really threw a wrench into things in 11.3. They're really trying to stop people from initially getting into Homebrew so that they can't do Homebrew or they can't do custom firmware or download a free shop and get free games or whatever Nintendo does not want people doing on their 3DS, they're trying to stop it from the root. In a string of tweets, Smeez said that 11.3 adds a new ARM 11 syscall. Crazy. Don't think Nintendo's ever done that, only stubbed old ones out. Looks like hacks payload fix for 11.3 will be a bit more involved than usual, so I recommend homebrew users not update till they can tell what's up. Now that was a few days ago. He's been working on this for a few days. Like, they've been putting in some work to try to get homebrew working back on 11.3 because Nintendo's really trying to stop it. Smee goes on to say in another tweet, so for what it's worth, it looks like Nintendo might be targeting the homebrew launcher itself in 11.3 and trying to block it out entirely. In a fairly technical tweet, he goes on to say, so for those who want more detail, Nintendo essentially fixed G-Spawn, but lowering the GPU DMA cutoff while APP has GSP rights. So it's through the graphics processor that users are actually able to get into Homebrew. Now Nintendo has changed that up a bit and developers have to get around to Nintendo's new changes. In another tweet he says, this means we can't take over home menu through GPU anymore, at least on old 3DS using existing techniques, which breaks hacks payloads. I feel like this is kind of a dick move since it targets Homebrew exclusively. This doesn't prevent a bunch of kernel attacks. It is smart on Nintendo's forefront to block Homebrew simply because if people can't get into homebrew they can't do anything else they can't take advantage of kernel exploits they can't cheat in games they just can't really do anything except use their 3ds normally which isn't a problem but for people like us who like to tinker with our devices well it is smee also says but of course i'm going to be salty when my baby's under attack so don't read too much into it point is we have ideas to bypass it which is really good and I wasn't too worried because I know Smee and Pluto and Derek and Nedwill and all those awesome 3DS developers can really get around this eventually because they're just geniuses. And I know they have some exploits still in their repertoire to pull out and get us out of a rut just like they did. Smee goes on to say, it looks like we have a solid path to fixing this 11.3 crap soon. Have a shitty proof of concept now, hoping to get basic test payloads running tomorrow night. And it turns out he did get it running and he eventually got it running on both old and new 3DS, so we are in the game. Now, if you're a custom firmware user with A9LH and you just updated to 11.3, and now you're gonna try to use Homebrew, well, you might wanna turn off Clock plus L2 Cache with these updated payloads, and also be running the latest Luma just to not run into any problems. So all in all, getting Homebrew running on 11.3 wasn't just the simple update the payloads for the new firmware like it usually has, but Nintendo's really trying to stop things from happening in the Homebrew scene. They're trying to stop people from getting into the Homebrew scene and prevent it from growing further. I think this is because Nintendo's gonna at least bank on the 3DS for one more year by pushing out games and they just wanna maximize their sales out of it. And if they do decide to go longer because the Nintendo Switch doesn't do as they're expecting, then they can have the 3DS still available to them with minimal hacks going on. So yeah guys, super interesting stuff, not the usual update that we have all the time. It looks like 11.3 did more damage than everybody anticipated, but it's all good now because we can get into homebrew. And don't forget to get into homebrew and play yourself some Halo revamped. It's a good thing. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you on 11.3 and wanting to get homebrew and this is your chance and you're super excited or maybe you are on 11.2 and you just don't care or maybe you just don't care at all. Let me know in the comment section below. Love to read what you guys got to say. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I will catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. And thanks Cruiser DR for the copyright strike. Super don't appreciate it, but hopefully we'll get it resolved. Peace out.